Hey, what's up? Cheap beer for you to drink. I am JJ. Now, um, didn't really have a video prepared for today, and thankfully, I went to the gas station and found this. And there's a lot of buzz around it. It's uh, Travis Scott and Anheuser-Busch's collaboration, Cacti Seltzer. It is a 7% hard seltzer, and uh, Anheuser-Busch has done that once before. They've made an 8% alcohol seltzer with the Bud Light Platinum seltzers. 7%, I mean, they've, they've made it taste good before. Maybe they'll do it again. I only grabbed the pineapple one. I wanted to try this first before I, I got the nine pack. It's uh, since it's seven percent alcohol, they only give you nine in the uh, in the pack, and it's still like sixteen ninety nine. And I've, I've actually seen higher prices than that. It's been selling out apparently all across the U.S. This is supposedly a pretty big deal, but I mean, you put Travis Scott's name on something, and uh, just look at that McDonald's hamburger meal he had. That thing took off. And uh, a lot of celebrities are doing it. We just did the Blake Shelton seltzers. That kind of turned me off the celebrity endorsed seltzers there for a minute because those weren't that good. But knowing that Anheuser-Busch made this and they've got tons of other hard seltzers out there, it, it should be pretty good. Go over the ingredients here real quick. Water, cold fermented cane sugar, natural flavors, agave syrup, lime juice from concentrate, citric acid, and malted rice. It's beer produced by Meadow Creek Beverage Company in association with Anheuser-Busch Bush LLC, St. Louis, Missouri. 150 calories per serving, but 310 per can, since this is a tall can. Uh, 25 fluid ounces. Uh, on the front, it just says cacti, pineapple, 7%, agave spiked seltzer. Cacti is made with 100% premium blue agave from Mexico and natural flavors for a refreshing and a bold taste. Let's try it out. Apparently, uh, Travis Scott actually, um, he if you don't know who that is, and I keep saying his name, he's a rapper. He's 28. He's from Houston. He has had a, a few number ones, so if you haven't heard the name, you may have heard one of his songs before, but uh, definitely a really popular artist, and he also according to a press release that I read, helped design the logo and the flavors. So they did more than just slap his name on it, which his name isn't even on here. So never mind about that. And actually, it smells really nice. And it. I'm going to draw comparisons to the, uh, the other harder seltzers that are also made with agave. I didn't, uh, I forgot about that. They have blood orange, citrus, and wild berry Bud Light Platinum Seltzers at 8%. And it actually kind of smells like that too. This of course is at seven and it's pineapple. There's two other flavors in that nine pack. You get lime and strawberry, but uh, this was the only one I saw in the tall cans. And again, if I like this one, I might throw out a review of the other two, but there are plenty of reviews of this out there already. I just really wanted to try it and let you know if it was worth it. Uh, it smells like a, a lot of the pineapple seltzers that I've had, which pineapple in, in seltzer is not a bad deal. Pineapple juice. I mean, I, I always draw that comparison, but really that's, that's what you get. Nice and clear, by the way. incredibly smooth. Um, Anheuser-Busch really knows how to make a uh, a smooth, stronger seltzer. At 7%, uh, that is actually pretty good. They have the 6% uh, natural light seltzers, right? So Anheuser-Busch has, if you want 6 natural light seltzer, if you want 7, go for the cacti. Eight Bud Light Platinum Seltzers, all really good. And this one's really good too. That is a, a very smooth pineapple taste, really crisp pineapple. Yeah, it leaves you with a uh, not a bad aftertaste at all. And it's not very sweet. Just a uh, Again, really nice. I like the finish of that, too. Re really leaves you with a good pineapple taste in your mouth. Not a pineapple fan. 
I mean, you probably wouldn't like these, but hey, you might like the strawberry and the lime. Lime's always a, a pretty solid flavor for a seltzer. Um, but the strawberry, that could be hit or miss. So that one, I'm, I'm kind of interested in, uh, in seeing if that one is good or not. But for 7%, uh, that's not bad. I wish it came in 12 packs instead of the 9 packs because that is uh, quite a bit. Uh, $16.99 or so. You may see it uh, for even more than that since it is selling out. Um, that is a lot for just 9, even though it's at 7% because you can get a 12 pack of natural light seltzers for less. Um, this is not bad at all. I would recommend that you, you look out if you're a, a seltzer fan and you like the stronger seltzers. Uh, I was kind of worried just because you put someone's name on there and, and you brand it that way. Maybe it's a bad product because um, you're going to sell it either way. But you actually make something that tastes good as well. And this one really does. And I am worried about drinking this can because it's 7% at a tall can like this. This tall can was $2.99. So that's a... Uh, that's a lot of alcohol for something that, that tastes like this, and it does not taste like it has that much alcohol in it at all. Like I said, that's a, that's a really smooth drink right there. Uh, Cacti, Anheuser-Busch's latest seltzer. They have a bunch out there. Of course, the Natural Light. They have... Uh, the Michelob Organic Seltzers, they have their own Bud Light Seltzer and Bud Light Platinum Seltzers. And I'm sure there's other that I'm forgetting about. And now they added a new one, Cacti. I could see this being popular at a lot of concerts. I could see this being a eight or 10 bucks a can <laughs> when you go out to a concert. And uh, I mean, alcohol prices at venues and concerts are outrageous as is. But really, this is a, a nice seltzer, and it is gluten-free, if I didn't mention that. Contains 1% juice, uh, as I look here. Drinkcacti.com, that is the website. Yeah, I'm going to have to try those other two flavors. This is uh, is really good for a seltzer, and again, that, that, that pineapple, not strong at all. Very smooth. Um, I liked it quite a bit. Cacti. I'm glad it's... Uh, it's actually as as good as I was hoping it would be. I was worried, especially, like I said, after those Blake Shelton seltzers. I mean, that's his own brand. So Anheuser-Busch, once I found that out, I was like, oh, these are probably pretty good. They know what they're doing. That's not bad for 7%. Cheap beer for you to drink. Thanks for watching. Um, we'll be back next week with uh, hopefully a video that's not as quickly thrown together as this. I'm actually leaving town for a few days and uh, was like, oh, I always put videos out on Thursday. I should probably do that because I don't have one ready. So I'm, I'm glad I did find this and I'm glad it lived up to the hype. It's the Cacti Travis Scott Hard Seltzers here on Cheap Beer for you to drink. Thanks for watching.